Hi, this is Ted Wynn from Raider Analysis, and this is the third installment of Raider Film Analysis, where we'll actually be looking at a defensive play. If you haven't heard the recent news, Mario Edwards Jr. has been cleared to play, and that's huge news for Raiders. This play I actually broke down in a profile I did for silverandblack.com. The link is going to be on the page, as well as a link for an article I did for Inside the Pylon about uh, our draft picks and how they fit in our team. So make sure to take a look at those after you watch this play. Uh, so I'm going to play, uh, let this play out in full speed so you kind of get an appreciation for Mario Edwards and his savagery. Just brutal. So this kind of reminds me of a scene in the Gladiator when Russell Crowe's character is first put in the ring and he has to take on five guys and he just demolishes all of them. Sorry, that was a little gruesome, but this play is equally as gruesome. So now we're going to break down this play a little bit. So as you can see, the offense is actually in a full house formation. There's one tight end on line, and there's another tight end in the backfield, a fullback, and a running back. In this situation, it's, uh, it's a second and one, so it looks like the Lions don't want to mess around. They want to get a first down now with the power run. So the run they're going to use is a counter gap scheme. It's an F counter, which means that the running back is going to take a counter step to the right and bring this play to the left. The guard is going to kick the end out, and it's called F counter because the F is going to be the lead block into the hole. The left side of the line is going to down block and try to create a wall for this kick and pull over here. Um, also, the blocks that I want you to pay close attention to, first number 87's block, he's going to try to get to the second level and block the hang defender, Nate Allen. And the second block I want you to pay attention to is this guard's kick block. He's going to be the one trying to kick Mario Edwards out. Edwards is responsible for outside contain, and this guard's going to try to kick him out and create a hole in the C gap. And this F is going to try to lead up. So that's the third block I want you to pay attention to. All right. So we're going to get this run. So, first thing you want, I want you to notice is 85 down blocks. So, Edwards does a good job of squeezing down the down block and keeping his shoulders square on the line. You can see his shoulders facing the screen here. 87 is trying to get to the second level. Okay, and watch what Edwards does to him. Just knocks him so far, so badly that he lands right into the lap of the pulling guard, and that gives the guard no chance of kicking out Edwards. Next, 46 tries to lead up into the hole, but he runs to Edwards. Edwards gives a little shoulders, shoulder, pops him out of the way, and makes a tackle. As you can see, this is a very dominant effort and shows Edwards' blue chip potential. He, you know, out of all the pickups that we made this offseason and out of all the draft picks McKenzie has made, Edwards honestly has a chance to be one of the top five players on the Raiders, and Raider fans should be ecstatic to get him back. And the only thing that could have made this play a little bit better is if he turned around and did this to the crowd. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained?